Thank you very much for coming along. I have a couple of messages from our sister organizations in the rest of Europe. From Independencia Republica Sardinia, the leader of whom is a man called Gavino Sale, who supports entirely independence first in the movement for a referendum. From Fernando Barena, a member of the Parliament of Navarre for the banned political party Batasuna, the uh, independence and socialist party of the Basque Country. And also from Alan Moscone of Independencia Corsica. He's also the leader of the uh, independent Corsican trade union that had the great success in capturing the, uh, the ferry from the French government some months ago. All of these people, all of these organizations feel that the struggle for what they term the nations without a state can only be properly processed by those of us who will work together. They were very surprised to discover that in Scotland there was an organization called Independence First which would allow those activists from all the political parties which support independence to work together. On a personal note, I spoke at the Catalan National Day in Barcelona some three weeks ago. I saw a really fantastic t-shirt, oddly enough in English, and what it said, make no mistake, I am Catalan, therefore I am not Spanish. Well, make no mistake, I am Scots, not British. I've never been British, I never will be British, and anything, anything done in the name of the British government is not done in my name. Change one letter in British, replace it with a different vowel, and you get brutish. I have no interest in being part of the British, brutish state, neither do our children as is clear from the failure to recruit for this nonsense Royal Regiment of Scotland. 300 years ago, the machine politicians of this country sold our country, our liberty, our freedom and our voice in the world. The lesson from that is we cannot leave it to the machine politicians to deliver the referendum or indeed to deliver independence. Only the activists of the parties and of no parties but who support the concept of independence will force the political leadership to take the action we require. And I would echo what one of the other speakers said. If we have a majority of the parties who support independence in the Parliament next May, then it would be rank stupidity not to move immediately to a referendum. To wait four years, three years, two years, when the might of the British government will move against that independence coalition in the Parliament would be foolish. We must maintain the pressure on each and every party, each and every candidate. And to that end, Independence First has organised an online pledge. We want people to pledge their vote, not to an independence party, not necessarily to the independence candidate, but to anyone who will stand for independence in this election. This is an online petition, an online pledge. Please take part in it. Independence First is a, is a great step forward for politics. This rally today, which has considerably more people at it than the equivalent Republican rally we had here last year, has been created primarily by the actions of those who run Independence First and their excellent publicity officer, Joe Middleton but it's been done by word of mouth. If we can maintain that word of mouth, use your mouth, ask your candidate, will they or will they not support a referendum within the first year of a parliament, not at the end of four? That's the pressure we must maintain. 300 years for Scotland to have no voice in the world is 300 years too long. Thank you.